Last night was a pretty early night for us. <laughs> Uh, we were back at the hotel at 8.30. We definitely did not go to Bourbon Street, and we definitely did not uh, stay out late and party. No. Despite that, uh, from the cocktail tour, Katie did have the spins. I am drunk, man. <laughs> yeah, a little hungover this morning. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this was already planned just in the case that, and uh, it looks like we're gonna do just fine oh, for God, breakfast. Oh this place looks so good. We're gonna go fill up on buttermilk drops and donuts and coffee and breakfast. We stopped at Buttermilk Drop this morning, and then I don't know if we had planned on eating out there, but uh, they didn't have any chairs or anything set up to eat, so, so we, we, are. we left. Came down to Louis Armstrong Park to eat our breakfast. We may or may not have dove into the Buttermilk Drop before uh, we got picked up by the Uber, so. Those were the best things <laughs> I've put in my mouth. They are. As far as baked goods. Really, really, really good. Yeah. So, so we're just gonna kind of enjoy the morning out here in the park, kind of walk around, uh, check out Congo Square, and uh, see our breakfast and soak up last night's wrongdoings. Back. So while we were walking around Louis Armstrong Park, we stopped over at Congo Square. Hey, and Congo Square is where um, a lot of slaves on Sundays were allowed to go, and they were played music and danced and traded goods, and it was kind of like kind of a central meeting place for them. So while we were there, one of the ladies stopped us and gave us a little bit more history, and then told us to come down to St. Augustine's Cathedral because this little neighborhood in Tremé was where. Uh, the slaves actually lived. So we kind of walked through the neighborhood a little bit. Now we're kind of walking over to the church, the cathedral, just to kind of, just on her recommendation, really, yeah, just to see. Yeah, she's uh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. Just to see kind of a little bit more of the history of slavery in the area and it, a little bit backstory <laughs> to the whole Congo Square thing. So we're just kind of walking down the street and. Oh, uh, oh there it is. No? <laughs> Maybe she's just talking to you. are so cute. Hello. Alrighty, so we have a 2 p.m. tour with uh, like the Mardi Gras Museum. We have to walk over to the Mardi Gras Museum, but we decided to take a detour to um, another lively festivity. <laughs> lively? Is it? <laughs> the Museum of Death. It sounded fun, it sounded kind of weird. And uh, see what the Museum of Death has to offer. Uh, I think there's. Well, you'll see. We'll find out. Uh, wow. <laughs> what did you think of that? That was so much fun. I'm a little bummed. I wish, like, we could have spent more time because I would say 75% of that exhibit had to do with serial killers, and I would have read every single thing on the wall about them. Uh, we definitely could have been there way longer. They had, like, letters from all different ser serial killers. They had a bunch of, like, artifacts from, like, like ancient executions. They had a bunch of tools like like hurt. lobotomy stuff. Yeah, a tool like the lobotomy and then like first it was a Charles little, Manson stuff. It was a little misleading cuz like the first part was just animal stuff and I was like, okay, are we just going to see like dead animals? I mean like okay. But then you like go in and then it was just literally serial killer stuff. You know, we're going to kind of head back over there to uh, the Mardi Gras Museum and get our taste of Mardi Gras since we were going to miss it, obviously, this year. We have a tour and it sounds like a show. So, here we go.
Well, we got our beads. Well, thank you. From uh, the Mardi Gras Museum. Katie didn't really earn them, but okay. it's fine. I learned that that is frowned upon and people don't do that anymore, so I'm glad I didn't show my boobs. Yeah, that's true. Apparently, you don't do that anymore, which makes me feel awkward because that's probably why nobody threw them to me earlier today. <laughs> You're so dumb. I <laughs> uh, also learned about king cakes. Apparently, king cakes are seasonal just for Mardi Gras season. We went to the buttermilk bakery cafe today I said yeah I want some buttermilk drops <laughs> and a king cake and she laughed looks like we're happy coming back from Mardi Gras yeah so which is a season we learned yes. carnival seat carnival. Car carnival Mardi Gras sounds like hella fun it's like a what do you say five to nine week party basically yeah. on the way over there we just saw this little Irish place and uh, Irish Heritage Center so we decided to stop and get some refreshments yeah we got a Guinness float and Katie got an Irish coffee. And it's, I'm not, I, I've tried Irish coffees before and I normally don't like them, but A, I cannot taste the alcohol in this and I yawned through that whole uh, tour that we just went on, so. It was really good, it's just a lot of talking. And yeah, we've been up, so. True. Coffee. So now we're at like cute little quaint Irish coffee bar history area, I don't know. It's really pretty. And so we're just gonna sit here and enjoy our, uh, our coffees before we go on oh, to the you can next see thing. the ice cream melting. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And uh cheers. Just leaving Parkway Tavern. I am obsessed with this town. <laughs> uh, Parkway Tavern, I don't know how old it is, oh. but uh, all the pictures were in black and white from when it first started. We got uh, 2018 Best Po Boy. I, what was it called? The James Brown. Uh oh. And uh, there was a lot of meat, shrimp, and goodness in it. That was definitely the best Po Boy we've had so far since we've been here. And I said it would get my second certifiably slap of the trip. So. Uh, Parkway Tavern certified slap. And Obama had been there before. Yeah, we are far from downtown. So I'm like, they had to have heard about that and sought it out and rightfully slow. So it was so good. Yeah, so uh, now we're just gonna cap it off with a drink before we head back downtown. <clears throat> Just in my element with my rum. What was this called? This is the, uh, the Katie uh, takeover. The bow wow. There are ten shots of rum in this, so I got us two because I don't want to make it to. Okay, the first of all, she said how many do you want, and I was questioning if we needed one, and Katie immediately said two. I mean, everybody in there had that same. Oh yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. We have a ghost tour tonight. Will we make it? That's a we great might question. Ghost the tour. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just finished the uh, haunted tour. Halfway through, we got uh, drinks. It tastes like a blue Jolly Rancher. Well, it probably wasn't a good idea. I think it was a great idea. What did you think of the tour? It was okay. If you would have been able to go inside the buildings and kind of feel the presence of everything, maybe it would have been a. I like yeah. wanted to be creeped out. True. There wasn't like very creepy vibes, but there was definitely like. Like, if you could go in here, it's haunted. 100%. Like, if we could go into the fucking con, excuse me, my language, the convent would have been sick. But, but so. we haven't actually done any voodoo things yet. Lance wants to to pay off his student loans. Yeah, they said that if you do a blood sacrifice, you, you can uh, gain financial you know, benefit. So I'm, I'm like, that's great. That's exactly what we loans. need. School loans. It was fun. It I'm was glad fun. we did it. We're gonna kind of wander back around Bourbon Street and then um, back to the hotel. Uh, it's only nine o'clock, I think. Well, it's an hour later than yesterday, so that's <laughs> the plan. We'll see how long we stay up. 